What's up everyone and welcome back to today's tutorial. Today we're going to be covering some more math functions. So let's start off with, I'm just going to put it all out to the screen. So type in sys out and then type math.pow and enter two numbers. So what this is doing is just doing a simple power. So it's saying two to the power of three. So that's two times two times two and this should come out as eight. So let's run this. And you see it's come out as eight. So we can put anything here. We can say four squared, which is just four to the power of two. If we run that, it should come out as 16. There's some other um, functions that we can use. So let's try another one. So sys out and let's say math dot square root, which type is SQRT and just put a number in here. So if we put nine, save that and run that, you can see it's output the square root of nine as three, which is right. And let's try one last one. We're going to try rounding a number. So if we put sys out and we say math dot round, and we put a number into here. So we say we can put a decimal place in. So 2.6, uh, it's going to round that number up to three. If we put in there 2.4 and run that, it's going to round it down to two. So it's important to realize that Java treats this as a regular number. So you can use it in your normal sums. So we can just put times three here. And what that's going to do is go four to the power of two and then times that result by three. So if we run this, it's given us 48, which is 16 times three. And you can combine these. So if we wanted to make sure that the number here uh, in the square root that we were trying to uh, square root was actually a full integer, we can say math dot round and put in 9.2. So what will happen here is it'll first execute this round 9.2 down to nine and then square root it. So if we run that, see what it's done is it's rounded it down to nine, square rooted it and given us three. Just like with the strings, I recommend that you have a look to see what you can do here by just pressing control space after the full stop and see what these different methods do. The documentation on the site should give you a pretty good description. In the next tutorial, we're going to return to the guess my number game where we're going to introduce random numbers. If you're liking the series so far, please like and subscribe or visit us on our Facebook page.